What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Going Solo. This is the second part of a double episode featuring drums, so if you haven't already watched it, be sure to back up and watch episode 7 first and then come back to this one. In this last episode, we tried playing the drums electronically with an effect in Logic Pro that plays sound samples triggered by the drum set. Sounded pretty good, right? Well, that method has some drawbacks. First off, it's a cheap controller that was part of a cheap set. It's not super responsive when it comes to rapid playing. The samples include many levels of intensity, but my drum controller is the weakest link of the whole setup. For instance, it can't keep up with a drum roll very well. Also, the cymbals reveal weaknesses, like trying to perform a cymbal swell, where you slowly build up the ringing of the cymbal until you reach the crescendo. As you could hear, the electronic controller doesn't know I'm trying to play a cymbal swell. It just thinks I'm hitting the cymbal a bunch of times, and it plays the same sound over and over really quickly. Now, I'm sure the high-end electronic sets can do those things very nicely, but I'm not in the market to spend $4,000 on an electronic drum set when a really good traditional set is less than that, and when my dumpster drums cost a fraction of that. Did he just say dumpster? Yes, he did. I found these vintage 1960s Stewart drums beside the dumpster where I worked several years ago. Apparently somebody was cleaning house or moving and didn't feel like throwing these all the way into the dumpster with the cardboard boxes and old car parts. They came home to get cleaned and overhauled, and they've been a mainstay in the studio ever since. They're only limited by the sounds that I can get in this room and by the microphones at my disposal, which may not be expensive top-of-the-line pieces used in the big recording studios, but they are very good industry standard mics, however. These drums are perfect for when I'm wanting a vintage or a gritty and raw sound, which is what I am going for with the song, so awesome. So let's get them tuned up and they can be set up to record. First, the drums will be brought into the ballpark by a drum dial, which will check the head tension on each lug with a gauge. Then they'll be brought in by fine-tuning them, tapping them by each lug to make sure the drum is playing the same note at each lug as it does in the center of the drum. And now time for the microphones. I'm going to use the same microphone configuration that I used on the album. One inside the kick drum, and one on top of each individual drum pointed down. Those are going to focus on each individual drum, but I'm also going to have one pair of microphones mounted on a boom on top of the drum set. They're going to capture the drum set as a unit in stereo. All of these will be blended together for a really good drum sound. After these are hooked up, I'll tweak the height and position of the cymbals and the drums just to make sure they're comfortable to play, and then set the gain on the microphones. That way they're all recording into the computer at a nice balanced level. Done. Sounds great. To get a quick good sound for this video, I'm running the drums through the exact same effects chain as the drums did on the album. Everything sounds ready, here are the acoustic drums playing the song verse.
Here's a comparison of the electronic and the acoustic drums back to back. Another day, another phone would ring, said I can't go on. A brand new package contains the same old thing, said I can't go on. With these calling phone calls, I get closer by the way. Can these all when your heart is never Since I've recorded both, the decision could be made later as to which style will be used in the song. It could be made later. However, I've already decided that the real drums will be used in the song. They just sound too natural not to use them. Well, that's all for this time. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And watch out for the next episode where it'll be time to drink a mug of warm tea, stretch out the old pipes, and sing the vocal parts. We'll see you next time on Going Solo.